So the goal has been to leverage our tangible wealth into the next monetary paradigm. I first want to say that while I'm confident that things will turn out the way that I foresee, I am not tied down to any philosophy. I have always been able to go with the flow. So I already showed you one of the best ways to capitalize on what is to come by not simply selling your silver and buying incredibly cheap income producing properties. The better way is to avoid the taxable event, borrow against your silver, and to buy income producing properties and have that asset pay off your loan on the silver. It is a better way to deploy more capital and at the end of the day you have two assets with no debt. This is also a very repeatable process. This is also in the spirit of leaderless resistance and can be done with by anybody when the time is right. But what if instead of being the borrower on these assets, we were also the lender? But what if we set about creating a truly new paradigm or a community that truly resonated with who we are? And instead of lending using debt, fractional reserve banking, and usury, we lent as equity partners. What if instead of lending for income producing properties, we were the investors in the next generation of technology and companies that resonated with our vision of the new paradigm. Companies and people who would advance humanity and not enslave it. What if we could fund an educational program that would be a beacon of hope throughout the world? What if we could all become neighbors and partners instead of just going it alone? If these ideas are something that resonate with you, you are going to love what I've been working on. And now for something truly unique and it is by far the most forward-thinking plan I've ever had. You all should know by now the real value of silver is magnitudes more than the paper price today. I have said that simply having 1,000 ounces of silver represents 10,000 days of hard human labor. From the earliest days of the Roman Empire, Roman soldiers were paid one denarius for each day of service, which was the equivalent of one-tenth of an ounce of silver. Factory workers were paid a dime for a day's work at the turn of the century. Even two-thirds of the world today where debt money is not available, people live off of two dollars a day, which is less than a tenth of an ounce of silver. The ability for average people like you and me to be able to accumulate that amount of wealth is historically significant, and I know many of you have multiples of that, even that benchmark. Whether you realize it or not, we are going to have a network of an extremely wealthy and more importantly, honest and thoughtful people who did the hard intellectual work to invest in silver before the collapse. The Silver Shield Report, and more importantly, the Maverick Mastermind, is designed to leverage our individual power into something much greater. How awesome would it be to have a couple thousand silver owners who resonate with each other on a personal level to be able to partner with each other and help shape a new paradigm? This ultimate exit strategy seeks to leverage not only the wealth that we have, but the unique talents and the abilities that we have in this network. The ultimate exit strategy is to eventually create a bank with the silver that we have. In this next paradigm, silver will be money on some level or another, somewhere in the United States. Look at the 13 states that are already pushing for legal tender laws for gold and silver. And with the massive decentralization of power, I am confident that states will assert their natural rights to nullify any federal laws that would prohibit them from taking control over their local power. This bank would not be like any other bank that we've known that relies on the deceitful practices to enslave people with debt. It will be a place to store wealth and invest wealth. There will not be any need to loan using fractional reserve lending because the massive increase in our silver relative to the other paper assets will be incredible. I would not be surprised that the silver wealth in our little community would eventually buy New Hampshire. I'm not kidding. Equity lending is really simple and moral. Essentially, the silver capital lends to the labor behind the new business venture. The capital would own all of the assets of the company, and the labor, or the investor, would invest his time and talent to succeed in, it, in his area of expertise. The loan will be made with no interest. The benefit to the lender is that they would retain either stock or assets in the newly successful company. The benefit to the borrower is that one, there will be money to be able to get, and two, they will have a competitive advantage because they will have better terms than any other competition and they will have experienced investors backing them up. It is moral because it does not involve debt or interest, and if the venture fails then both parties lose and no one else. If they succeed, the capital they make would help fund other dreams. 